Hello friends, I am Shyam Yadav and welcome to my channel iTech Warrior. Friends, in this video we will understand view back, view data and time data. Friends, uh, most of the interviewer ask this question what is view back, what is view data and time data. So in this video we will understand uh, the concept between view back, view data and time data. So let's start. So first we start with view back points wise. First point is view uh, the view bag is ASP.NET MVC is used to transfer temporary data from the controller to the view. Second point is uh, view bag can get and set value dynamically. That's why it is called dynamic property. Third point is it is a dynamic type property of the controller base class which is uh, the base class of uh, the controller class. Fourth point is uh, you can assign a primitive or a complex type object as a value to view back property. Fifth point is uh, view back only transfer data from controller to view not vice versa. Sixth point is uh, view back value will be null if redirection occurs. Seventh point is uh, view back doesn't require type casting while retrieving values from it. Eighth point is view back can throw a runtime exception if the wrong method is used on a on the value. So this is uh, all about uh, view back. So let's we move to view data. First point is uh, the view data is also transfer data from controller to view. Second point is the view data is of a dictionary type whereas view bag is of a dynamic type. Third point is view data is a dictionary so it constants key value pairs where each key must be a string. Fourth point is view data is derived from view data dictionary class. It is type safe and requires a type casting for data type. Fifth point is view data only transfer data from controller to view not vice versa. It is valid only during the current request. Sixth point is view data and view bag both use the same dictionary internally. So you cannot have view data key match with the property name of view bag. Otherwise, it will throw a runtime exception. So this is all about view data. So let's move to time data. First point is time data is used to transfer data from view to controller and controller to view. Or from one action method to another action method for the same or a different controller. Second point is it represents a set of data that persists only from one request to the next request. It is derived from time data dictionary. Third point is time data stores the data temporarily and automatically remove it after retrieving a value. So here you can see the uh, diagram. In this first diagram, uh, data transfer controller to view. And in the second, view uh, data transfer view to controller. So this is uh, all about time data. Friends, I hope you understand uh, view bag, view data and time data. So you can uh, also understand how you can answer the uh, at the time of an interview what is time data or uh, what is uh, view back and view data. So I hope uh, you understand uh, all the three concepts. Uh, if you like uh, my videos, uh, please subscribe our YouTube channel and press the bell icon for upcoming videos notifications. Thank you for watching.